everyone, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the DHC Network and today we are back with another let's place on Turok 2 C2 Evil. So last time we did more exploration through the Port of Adia, we, we, we rescued all children. So all objectives are completed and we found one key so far. So if I'm correct, I think there's two more keys we gotta find. So no new weapons for and nothing interesting happened. So other than that, let's go ahead and load up our save game. So enough we talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? So here's where we left off at this the final checkpoint station for this level. Let's take out the tech belt for now on. Let's see where we're going this time. Oh, I remember this part. This is the worst part about this level. Now we're gonna need the tech belt for this. We gotta snipe all these um I can't remember the name of these enemies. I'm so sorry guys, I've been naming these enemies wrong. Yeah, the reason I don't like this part because there's an abyss down there. Now we gotta be careful, so we gotta snipe these um enemies. I think I got them. Did I? I think I did. Alright, there's a health right here. I'm gonna turn off the map, but actually no, I'm gonna keep it for now on. Because I don't remember this part that well. Alright, let's jump down. I remember back then, the 64 version, the drop distance was so bad you can't even see the ground. I hated that. Alright, let's take out, let's, keep shoot, let's kill this guy. Oh, I think there's some tech arrows around here. Whoa! Oh, I love the tech bow so much. I, and I, I like this design too. It looks better than the one to see in uh, the last game. Alright, we got some... Okay, time to snipe these guys. Alright, that's one. Any more? Let's take out the... Um, let's take out the shotgun. Alright. Oh, there's... Okay, hang on. I gotta back up, back up. At the same time, I gotta watch my step, though. And I can't lose any health right now. I hate these guys. No, I missed. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Let's keep going. Oh, there's more? That's what I don't like about this part. Not only because you watch your step, but you gotta deal with these guys. All right, let's take out the pistol. I gotta watch out for my health. Ooh, ultra, ultra health. health. Perfect. All right, that should take care of it. Whoa, headshot. All right, there's a 20, I mean a 10 health. I already mentioned that the blue health got nerfed. So in the last game used to be 25, now they're like 10 each, so. But they're more common now. If I realize that, because um, the last game, the blue hells were kind of rare, but now they're common. So that kind of bounced it out. Got him. There you go. Killed them all. Let's go through here. I think here at the checkpoint station again. Oh, oh we were, I remember here. We were here earlier in the last video. There you go. Blew his armor off. Let's grab some pistol ammo. Oh, I remember. And look at that. Another warp portal. You guys gotta say, isn't that... Didn't you just go to a warp portal in the first part? I mean, the second part. Yes, I did, but... There's a little plot twist. You'll see why. Got him. Let's see what's up here. A switch? Something opened. What's in here? A level 3 key. Oh, watch out for this guy. So we find ourselves a level 3 key. Let's see how... Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we're looking for one more key. Alright, let's see if we can find anything around here. At least some ammo or something. Got him. Oh, barrels. Anything use useful? 
health and ammo, I'll take it. There's a full health, but we don't need it because our health is pretty much extended right now. Have I been here? I think I have. I am Turok. Oh, lead us back here. So that's where that door led to. Okay. So we're going to go back to that whole um <coughs> little platform area with the abyss. <coughs> There you go, they're down. Let's keep going. Oh, I hate these things. Take out the tech bow. There you go. That's another way to clear these little creatures. Taken care of. Let's see what's up here. There you go. Oh, it lowers the, the bridge. Okay, I didn't see that. Let's take out the shotgun. I love this shotgun. It just feels like a real shotgun. shotgun. I even like it better than the the last. Ooh, I got a two for one. I'll take it. This shotgun is a beast. All right, so I think we're near at the end of the of the level, but we have a lot to do right now. Let's grab that tech bow. Tech bow. Sniper capability enabled. Oh yeah, now they take cover from the box. That's what I was talking about earlier. They didn't do that earlier in the in the level. Another tech bow. Let's take out, let's take out the tech bow real quick. And look, the final key of the level. We gotta get it. Oh, okay, looks like these doors are locked. There's a lot of objectives around here. Let's lower these um levers. Or switches, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Oh, another one. Come on, come on, get him. Got him. I put him to self destruct. Did I turn on the switch already? I think I did. Yes, I did. So I think the bottom port's open. Yeah, there you go. Let's take out the shotgun. We don't need the tech bow right now. Shotgun. I'll take the shotgun ammo. I love this gun so much. I think of all games with the shotgun, I think this is my favorite game when it comes to shotgun. I love this shotgun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm being repetitive. It's just, I just love this weapon. It's good looking too. Got him. Oh, there's some crates in here. Pistol ammo and health. Oh, they're getting too close. That should take care of them. Another switch. And there's some shotgun shells. Uh, where's the key at? There it is. The final key of the level. So we have gotten all keys. But we're not done with this level yet. We have completed the objectives. But there's some things we gotta explore. Let's go to that um, war portal. We gotta go there first before we leave this level. There's something interesting is gonna happen. And no, it's not the um, it's not the talisman chamber. We explored that earlier, but it's something pretty cool. Here we go. There's a switch. War portal activated. Here we go. Time to enter the war portal. I wonder what's in here. And I got a trophy. Whoa. We're like in a whole new world. Let's go ahead and make our make our presents. Command. We 
on the dark past. We are the only. We are oblivion. That was just a standing motion. Not too strong. So you guys are wondering, what just happened? What's going on? Here we go, let's begin. So what's going on is the fact that we met a new enemy. And these guys are known as the Flesh Eaters. And I think their leader is called Olivion, but he does not exist in this game. He exists in the next game, Two Rock 3, um, Shadows of Olivion. I don't remember, I never played it personally, I really don't know much about Olivion. And there's a little part right here, we're gonna get it later, but right now, we're gonna deal with these guys. Let's switch to explosive ammo. The reason why I want to switch to explosive ammo because these guys are really strong. And they're really deadly. And they and they take a lot. You gotta kill them fast before they get you. These guys are not kidding around. That's why it's best to save your explosive ammo on stronger enemies. Oh yeah, unlike the, the last game. And I think I mentioned this early in the last video. Now items um, respawn. <laughs> The last game didn't do it unless it's the bosses, but it's not. As you guys see that, look at that. Explosive shells just respond. I think there's more of those items around here. Let me see. Let me check. We're gonna need some. Yeah, we're gonna need more shock. More... So it's best to resupply your ammo before you head over to continue your your quest. Looks like we got our shotgun shells. But I'm trying to get, I'm sure we stock up on explosive shells. So yeah, these guys are called the flesh eaters. Really tough enemies, but I think we should be okay. I know this is the first section, and there's like five more we have to find. Let's see the explosive shells <coughs> respond. Yes. So we are fully restocked with ammo. Now this thing, what is this? You have found part of the nuke weapon. So this is a part for a special weapon called the nuke. It's kind of like the kernel set of the last game, but to get the part, you just gotta go through the um, flesh eaters every time. So let's continue. fills this evil place. I do not understand its source, but it is somehow familiar to me. You must take care when entering the warp portals. Whatever this new threat is, it seems that false portals have been erected to lure you into a trap. So yeah, um, uh, um, what Adam was saying is the fact that, um, since there are two warp portals in each level, one of them is the talisman chamber, the other one is the flesh eater, so you gotta know which one's which. But it's pretty obvious you know which one's which. It depends on the items around. So anyways, let's let's go ahead and claw, finish off this level. I think that's all we needed left, so let's find the exit and get out of here. Let's take out the pistol. Oh yeah, so yeah, and again, enemies spawn back by each teleportation. It's not like the last game, they just keep respawning. Which I prefer this anytime than the last one. Let's grab the stuff. There's a full health? Hang on, we're full- we, Oh, we got max- we got maximum lives now, so... Let's open up these switches. And there, that right there is the exit. So that means we're done with this level, but... We're not fully done. There's one more thing we gotta do left. So let's restock up and let's do it. You must save the totem, Turok. That's right, we gotta defend the totem. So let's switch to explosive sh rounds. 
I love this. I love this is one of my favorite parts in this game. Defending the totem. This is pretty much one of the, the best parts of each level. The red means the presence of enemies. The green is the health of the totem. Yeah, there's a lot of shock and explosive shells right now. And that's it. And we unlock a new cheat. So that's it guys, we have finished up the port of Adia, and there's a checkpoint station so in the hub. So, just like the last game, this is the, the hub where we get all the keys throughout the levels, and we got, which give us access to, to the next set of levels. So, the same formula, but the only difference is just objectives. So here's our checkpoint service go I think we're stocked up already. I don't think we don't need to, um... Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? So yeah, I don't think there's no need. So now we got another access area. So we got the port of Adia. So we can come back to the level anytime. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you guys something. The, they, this is a big change to Night Dive Steelers. I'm going to get props to them. Let's go back to the port of Adia. So instead of the actual start, now you're back here. But now they added a whole new gate. So you can actually go back. This was the quality of life because back in the 64 version, it was a nightmare to go back all the way to, to the exit. Uh, that was such a nightmare back. Now it's a big improvement. So I'm going to have to give props to Night Dive Studios. So. Other than that, guys, I guess we're going to wrap it up. On the next part, we're going to begin the next level, which is the River of Souls. So other than that, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like and here might subscribe. This is True Rock 2 Seeds of Evil, level 1, the part of Adia, and it was part 4 out of 4. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and welcome to the DHC Network. This is your Captain Speaking, signing out.